The War of Liberation goes okay up here. But because I had many different unit types, my terracotta army now means that I have a gigantic military. Still only lists me as the third biggest, though. I don't know if it updates this turn or not. And also, I have been neglecting my military, and I lost some units up here. Now, I just gotta march these guys up toward victory. means now I want to pull back. Uh, I could go after this, but there's really no point right now. I do need some happiness, though. As soon as I settle here, that'll make my, my guys deeply unhappy. Let's back these guys off. <laughs> Alright, I can't get out yet. Oh, he won't be able to one-shot me. I'm pretty confident. Mining this isn't that important yet. Until I build this city, uh, I gotta find someone else to trade with. Hmm. Wonder if I could bang out the Great Wall before they build it. Someone else might build it though. Is the problem? The other option is to build more military and be ready to fully assault Thebes. So I can crack out units pretty quick. Or plus two happiness. If I build two Colosseums. Be able to build that settler. Well, use that settler. Oh, we can't do open borders yet, so I can't actually get this guy over there. Might as well come back this way. Take care of all the domestic stuff first. <laughs> Chopping down some forests. Getting these troops up to the front lines. Yeah, that's the best way. Double my tourism output now, so early in the game? No, I think I want to push this culture. Yeah, because then I'll be able to build cultural centers. I'll be able to push my culture a lot further. Getting this will push the rest of it. Alright, need some money. Does anyone want a trade route? No. It's not even that much money. Might as well do the safe one, though. Alright, let's see how to deal with this line of fools. That guy took some damage. I like to retreat him. I don't have anywhere good to retreat him to, though. This guy can totally escape. Uh, if I had more money, I could pay Hanoi to be my friend. Alright, how do I preserve these units for the war to come? Guess I could run this guy over here to heal. Out of the way. Hold this guy back. They can come in and strike. We'll be in range of this other stuff. I want to get this settler up there. It'd be dangerous to get him around here and settle. 
but I'm the one who chose not to go after seafaring. Actually, I'll get metal casting. So four more turns, and I'll also have optics. So I was going to keep this guy here for four turns, and then I'll just go across the water and settle right there. Now why does it want me to settle here? Because it was also recommending this spot. There might be whales or something I don't know about over here. Oh yeah, though, since this city, one, two, three. So if I settle here, I'll get these fish. This city's pretty well defensible. Actually, that means an inner, a small inner sea navy would be invincible. It would just be free artillery in here for the rest of the game. Silver, silver, oh yeah, yeah. Alright, so th there might be a whales or something here, but look at this. One, two, three, that'll give me an extra silver. Alright, what to do about the war? I definitely should leave this guy here. Do some damage while we're at it. Gotta hold out until my troops get to the front line. Oh, I could finish that guy off, but then I'd be in range of that city, which I think might—it's uh, occupied. But I think I think it's at the point where it's gonna—it'll shoot at me. Mm. No, I'm not gonna trade a sword, a uh, horseman for a composite bowman because if he doesn't move that guy, it'll die. I'll just leave this guy here, ready to charge up and around. The road will let me come in pretty nicely. Leave this guy in the city, leave this guy in the city. Alright. Yeah, I'll get a city here, which will give me those luxury resources. Then I'll backfill and build this city. I still, still want to build it here and not there. Build it here. I don't need yet another citrus. I could crank out a wonder. Wonder if anyone else is working on it though. That would be a shame. Fifteen turns, that's risky. Of course, go back to my demographics. I do have the most industrial output by far I have a lot of industrial output. Which is interesting because I'm about to get metal casting. So I can blitz some workshops. I want to start on the workshop here pretty quick, rather than going after a wonder. So I should build something that's only a, a quick build out. Uh, if he's got all these composite bowmen, then a bunch of spearmen... Swordsmen would be nice, but I need iron. There's the iron. One, two, three. How much money would that cost me? That'll be worth it. I still gotta get a worker over there. Uh, finish your mind later. I'll come back to that. 